flexible payment options means better pay for your Well, here we are. We're in Hendersonville. This is where we live, and we're going to the Lost Cajun. For lunch. For lunch. So we thought, hmm, let's do a little review. Yes. Yeah. It's, so uh, it's kind of an overcast day. It looks like it might storm. Yeah. It looks no. like it might rain. It might. Might do. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, Lord. I'm bumping around. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Sorry, my buddy. That's okay. Yeah. It's okay. Anyway. All right. Uh, Lost Cajun, we're, we're close to getting there, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's yeah, over here. here. Yeah. I don't know where yeah. it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll see you inside. Yeah, it looks like we're the first ones here. Well, I thought they had a little more. Okay. Let's go ours. Oh, okay. It's a pretty neat little place. Hi, everybody. Hello. You too. Everybody, look at that. I'm going to see you double today. How are we doing today? Hi. Yes, ma'am. Right. Let's see you here. Okay. This is great. Awesome. Thank Have you. a seat. Now and coleslaw. I ordered us fried okra for dessert or for hors d'oeuvres. That appetizer they had a little okra roll. And I also ordered a uh, cup of crawfish etouffee awesome. on the side. Louisiana memorabilia. It's kind of an appropriate day for us to to come here for lunch because of the hurricane Laura coming in on the coast down in Louisiana. It's pretty cool. They brought our our soup back. I mean, I got the lobster bisque and it is really good. I've already taken a bite of it. And Tommy got the. Um, Etouffee. Crawfish etouffee. Delicious. It's incredible. You can see I've eaten most of it. Yeah. yeah. And we got the uh, basket okra. of okra. And it is delicious. And now they brought our food out. Tommy 
we got this trip. And it looks so good. And I got the fried oysters. Yum, yum. We're about to dig this. Okay. We, we are completely stuffed. Yeah, but great. we're taking one for the team and we ordered beignets. So just wanted to let y'all know that. We're going to take one for the team. Right? Which, which, which is it for the people that have been eating Cajun food and everything? Yeah. Like, yeah. It's yeah. yeah. like a donut, sort of. Sort of. It's like a crust between a donut and a sopapilla, Mexican sopapilla. It's really good. A lot of powdered sugar. A lot of powdered sugar. Yeah. We'll yeah. show it to you. There's the beignets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Be careful, them. she said they're hot. Okay. Oh, they are. They're, they're steaming on. They just come out of the fryer. Okay. All right. Well, I'm getting one too. I wish I had a fork. Well, I bet they'll bring you a fork. Yeah. Mm. We're rolling, yeah. So we just we just came out from lunch of a place called the Lost Cajun here in Hendersonville. It's really the only place you can get this kind of food. That's it's it's fairly authentic, um, and it was good for the most part. It was good. It's, it's too expensive. Um, I ordered a shrimp plate. It came with fr seasoned fries. It was six shrimp. Season fries and coleslaw. She ordered the fried oysters. fried oysters, which was the same deal. You know, six oysters, seasoned fries, and and that would have been really plenty for lunch. Um, the fries were fries were just normal, nothing nothing to write home about. Coleslaw was average. The fried oysters and the fried shrimp were spectacular. And the fried oysters. They yeah, were good I, I said that. Oh, I thought you said the fried said, shrimp. And the oysters were, yeah. I'm Did sorry. I say that? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What That's okay. Oh. 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 Uh, so anyway, we also ordered a basket of fried okra for an appetizer. It was fabulous. Great. Um, I ordered a cup of crawfish etouffee. She ordered a cup of lobster bisque. The, the problem here is it's way overpriced for for what you get and for what it is and you know when you have this kind of food like uh, authentic Cajun or Louisiana food you expect it to be really rich and filling for some reason I, the food's not that way here it is tasteful and it's really good but it's not rich or just full of flavor that knocks you out of your chair it's just not that for some reason I don't know I yeah. Do you feel that way? Yeah. And and uh, we ordered beignets, which you're like, oh, you can't go wrong with beignets. But um, they were the, the dough, which I, I don't really know if beignets, seems like the dough should have a, a little bit of sweetness. Yeah, this was like fried pizza dough. It, it <laughs> puffed and they just sprinkled powdered sugar all over it. It was... I Maybe know. I'm not a beignet person. I, I'm, I'm I am. Sure. I am, but I, I just hey, never it, really had that pointed out to me before. If, if yeah, we talked about it while we're having. I, I, I said this doesn't seem right. This doesn't seem like a dessert. Or, and she felt the same way. So you know, in the comments below, if somebody wants to leave comments about what a beignet is really supposed to be like, I mean, I've been to New Orleans. She's been to New Orleans. We've been everywhere. But we've really never had beignets for some reason. We and we thought, oh, and she asked here if the lady said, "Do you want the authentic kind?" And we're like, "Yeah." I, if that's what a beignet is, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just shouldn't go to Krispy Kreme and get a donut. Well, I've had them before, and they were always really good. But these to me weren't. This. They, they, I mean, it's okay, but it's. It just seemed like you, yeah. pizza dough bubbled up with. They, they had a lot of dough inside them, which to yeah, me is not, yeah, didn't yeah. seem right. I don't know. It could have just been Maybe a bad I'll, batch. I don't well, know. I just, I just, yeah. I don't think it's, uh, yeah. I don't think it's, I don't yeah. think they got it down. I don't think they have this down yet. But it was a good experience. Our, yeah. our server was so nice. Oh, oh, the service was great. Right out of the chute, uh, they brought our cup of soups. They brought her a cup of, of lobster bisque and it was cold. She yeah, had to get up and take it up to the counter and ask them to warm it, which they were fine to do it. 
And it was um, steaming hot when I got it back. So that was I mean, I'm, I'm picking the place apart because I, yeah. I thought it was very expensive. Our bill was $60. Yeah, that's for lunch. Um, that's for lunch. I got, and I got water to drink. And you got, I, I did you got a soda. So, I mean, that was two twenty nine for the soda. Mm -hmm. uh, the basket of uh, okra for uh, appetizer was five bucks. Five dollars. And then uh, just like the cup of soups were six or seven bucks mine a piece. Mine was more. Mine was like eight dollars so, for I a mean, cup of lobster bisque, which if, is usually pretty expensive anyway. But yeah, I, I, I would know. come back and do this, but I would do it different. If I came back for dinner, I would just get like the shrimp plate, the no add-ons, no nothing. And if I came for lunch, I would probably just get a bowl of etouffee or lobster bisque because it comes with a little French bread. And it was squares. really filling. Yeah, it's like it I was full when I got done with my lobster bisque. I was still eating on it and yeah, I had my other yeah. food in front of me and I thought, oh my God, I'm not leaving my lobster bisque. So. But like I, yeah. like I said at the beginning, I, there was some richness that wasn't there yeah. in all the food. I don't know if you... The lobster bisque ha was, was rich. Was it rich, yeah. But, um... Yeah, I don't but, know what you mean. I don't but, know. But, but anyway, it, it, it's good. It's just a little pricey for lunch. But um, it's kind of a mixed review, I think. But anyway, we appreciate yeah. you guys tuning in and checking it out. We got some stuff coming up, you know, and, and some new stuff that we're going to start talking about. I mean, we're going to have T-shirts available at Teespring. And, uh, you know, it's just different stuff coming up that people have asked about and that we know about. And we, we appreciate everybody that subscribes. And we need subscribers for sure. Yes, we do. And we need views. And Thumbs up. We really appreciate everybody that has been loyal to us and helping us out. Yes, we do. We, it means it. a lot to us. It really does. And if you want to like the video, there's a little thumbs up thing you can do down at the bottom. Click and on that. As Tommy says, if you don't like it, still give us a thumbs up. Still give us a thumbs up thing. Anyway. Well, it's not going to hurt you. And then uh, you know, there's a uh, thumbs up. There's a, a little bell shaped down in the right bottom corner. You can tap on that notification bell. That means if Teresa comes out with something, she's the one that posts the videos. I, I have no technical know-how or I don't I don't do anything technical. I just yak and play the play the steel guitar. Yeah. But anyway, uh, thanks again, everybody. Really appreciate it. Yes. Thanks for watching and remember uh, to subscribe. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye.